by the name of Mike Just a regular Joe they didn't like Their experiment needed a good test case So they caught him on the noggin and they shot him into space We'll send them cheesy movies The worst we can find You'll have to sit and watch them Chicken fat back, the chicken and don't be chicken again. Da -da 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 -dum -da 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 Hi everyone, welcome to the Satellite of Love. Mike Nelson here with my friends Crow T. Robot and Tom Servo. You caught us in the middle of our quarterly workout. Crow, I think you need to add more weights. Uh, well, I don't here we go. Think I do. ah! Whoa. Whoa. Tom, Whoa. that can't be doing much. What no, say no. we throw the medicine ball around? No, 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 no! no! Ah, thank you. If you can't take 30 minutes out of each year, you don't deserve a hot date. We'll be right back. <laughs> Pretty good workout, eh, man? <laughs> Got a juicer here. Want some juice? Yeah. All right, there we go. Mike, that's an egg. Yep. What's the matter? You don't like the juice of a hard-boiled egg? Huh? That's why you can put anything in here. Sausage, a little bacon. But you know, boys, sometimes I just can't wait. Oh, bloody the clawing. Ah, losers in the sky. Big doings down here, Deep 13. <laughs> Skyrocketing costs have begun to imperil even my weekly bonus program. So I've been thinking outside of the box, and at the end of the day, you're going to see some real changes around here. Yes, we're re-engineering, and uh, Frank here will be spearheading our outplacement program. Me? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's right, Frank, we've got Deadwood. We've got to cut costs. Exactly, I think you're right. Well, of course I'm right, Frank. Now here, uh, round this person up and can his ass. Okay, let's see. Uh, Frank, TVs. Oh, poor guy. He's probably got a family. Hey! Well, that's that. Painful, yes, but I've got to think of the greater me. What color is your parachute, Frank? <laughs> I don't have a parachute. Bummer. Well, here's your parting gift. Oh, neat. And here's your farewell dinner. But Frank's your most valued employee. How will he live? How will he live? Oh, he'll be okay. Look how hireable he is. Uh, well, Frank, uh, I'm going to miss seeing you around here. Um, well, it's been nice. <laughs> Good luck. Off with you now. But I still live here. Goodbye, Frank. Well, Marcel, your movie this week is called Village of the Giants, made by Bert I. Gordon, who's also not working much anymore. <laughs> Should I push the button, Dr. Forrester? Frank, you're fired. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you will live on, Frank! We'll, we'll live on! We gotta go! Frank! Oh my, oh my word. Wild, wild rebels. Man, I love these blue blockers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Madonna, what are you up to now? <laughs> the extra E is for extra Levine. This is everything laughing could have been. Wow, you know, they don't look that big to me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
based on. Oh, in that they're both in English. Could be based on profiles and courage. Oh, by Theodore Sorensen? Yes. Hey. <laughs> Boy, these kids today, you just can't tell them apart. Yeah, like, look at that kid there with his long hair, his firm buttocks, his pert breast. And oh, wait a minute. <laughs> and just a hint of Tony Basel. <laughs> Hi, Bo. Bo hey, knows Bo. awkward dancing. She's just trying to get attention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jack Nietzsche, that which does not kill you makes you more musical. Pioneers in really big stuff. Oh, you know, she made her own costume herself. She's really very talented. Mm -hmm. So, guys, what stage of the Wonder Years do you think this is? Hmm. Somehow this film is a metaphor for the Vietnam War. Somehow. <laughs> Russ Tittleman? Tittleman? Can they say that? Can they? Huh? <laughs> so, you think this music's ever going to get near a melody or what? Nobody cares about these people. Let's just get on with it. Mm -hmm. I care. Oh. You know, this is not going to take the pounds off. It's not aerobic. It's anaerobic. And it's contraindicative. Mm -hmm. Contraindicative. Indicative. Look out, she's gonna chunk! <gasps> oh. Catholic girls let go, they really let go. Wow. So I said to the guy, I said. Said. <laughs> the rain pelted the hovercraft as it approached Torian 5. The forecast is for bright sun with intense rain. <laughs> it's raining cats and tires. <laughs> Senator Kennedy, you all right? So, I guess Jesus was run down with a Thunderbird. Oh, this is where Thelma and Louise landed. <coughs> oh, buddy. oh, no, she's tonguing the universe. Oh. <laughs> Acid rain is fun. You could learn a lot from a dummy. You ever heard about turkeys in the rain? Oh. So far, there's not a thing one wrong with this movie. <laughs> Cream corn, anyone? Never was a car crash celebrated so well. <laughs> Here's the good friends. Tonight is kind of special. Oh, stop licking bow. If it rains much more, it will turn into sea hunt. <laughs> Hey, that's the monkey. I thought it was the jerk. No, the jerks are doing the monkey. <laughs> woman, 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 woman. Witness the debauchery of Greco-Roman dancing. If her pants were any tighter, they'd be behind her. <laughs> wow. Oh, it looks like a pupa trying to emerge. <laughs> Rock. All right, who gave the kid sugar? <laughs> oh, she's the shy, smart one. <laughs> Mike, do you think this scene is providing characterization and establishing narrative? No, but who cares? Yeah. Wait till Mom finds out I made a movie. <laughs> the main sewer line breaks and the party never stops. These kids are just high on life. Let them go, I say. <laughs> He's contracted dance fever from Denny Terry. Ow. Mr. Mojo Rising. Camel toe. Oh. No, don't. My pants are a little too tight for this sort of thing. No. Hey, what kind of a party is it? Hey, did each person or persons give explicit consent for this? When this is over, you know they'll be too embarrassed to look at each other. Mm -hmm. Ah, my collarbone! I can't feel my legs! Mmm, mud honey. Hey, Blatz! Woo! I love Blatz. I bet Bo still has nightmares about the making of this film. <laughs> if I were here, I'd sit in the car and listen to the radio. This is the wildest Christmas party yet. We top each other every year. You'll get the pigskin preview and also the year in sex. <laughs> They'll need all temperature to get those pants clean. Yes, but how will they erase the shame of this movie? Mm. Whoa! <laughs> well, at this point, what's inappropriate? <laughs> Unreleased footage from the piano. Couldn't they have used all this time to show short scenes of their growing discontent with society's mores? Well, got a lot of wet boob shots in. Hey. Must get to busted sign. Oh. Hey! Oh, 
we have dialogue. What have you been doing? Yes, hey, madam. Koruba. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's not mud. Oh, no. Ooh. A summer place. Summer place. Model home may not be available as seen. Pretty nice system. That's a Thorin's turntable with a Conrad Johnson amp. Stasis class A. Cozy and Harriet after dark. Oh, this is Tommy Kirk really acting. Ooh. I'm next. Ugh. Ew. Even the dog's grossed out. Let's <laughs> 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 get back in town. They're spending the night in Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. Two a tay crayon, my baby. Oh, that's French. Oh, there's a big landslide up the road. Sorry to hear that. I bet you are. So what's for dinner? Hey, Mike. Look what I got. AM2SU, HCSOF, and magnesium sulfate. How about that, Mike? It's very impressive, genius. But they're not compatible. Like you guys. This is supposed to blow up. I wonder why it doesn't. You and I aren't going to be very compatible either, genius, if you don't get out of here. I hope that blows up in his face so I don't have to see Willow. Hey, I, I like you Willow. See. Ah, caustic liquid all over my either. face! Ah! But, uh, whatever it is, I like it. Oh, take me, you savage mouseketeer. Oh, you're good for me, Nancy, you know that? Oh, you are very, very good. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to fire you. Cuts back. I never knew you liked good girls. Oh, I don't. They talk too much. And they smell weird. So? So, stop talking so much. Did you have Kung Pao chicken? I can't feel my legs. Help me! <laughs> I flip, I flip, I flip, I flip, I flip. Hyman, Hyman. <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the opie. I blinded me with science. That's not really what I was trying to do. Genius, are you all right? Suddenly I want to direct. Of course I'm all right. Why shouldn't I be? Well, you could have been killed. Oh, nonsense. Well, you could have. I put an electric charge to that stuff I was missing, oh, and then pow, the whole place blew up. Well, Tommy's not too hard to entertain. <laughs> nice of Tommy to stay awake for this scene. I wonder what that is. I wonder what the king is doing tonight. Do you think it might be ammonia trisulfate? No. It's either pancake mix or an octopus. <laughs> Don't try to be funny. Oh, what a relief. Mine Fira, I can walk! Arf! Yes, but what does it mean? Hey, Thomasina! Oh, don't get the cat involved. Please. A mess. All right, genius. Put your talents to cleaning this up. Go get a broom. Things this kid comes up with. Fantastic. Fantastic. I suppose. Anyway, he does keep things from getting dull. Mm. If he just wouldn't Don't overdo be it. Catfish flavor. Nom, nom. Shoo. Go on, beat it. Oh, it's a peanut OP Buster parfait. <laughs> Mike! Don't forget the cherry! He nearly stepped on it. On what? You might have set it off. You really must be more careful. His burglar alarm. How's it work? Pretty good? I don't know. I never really tried it out. Only in theory. In theory, it works fine. Well, build a better mousetrap and they'll beat a path to your door, they always say. Shut Not up. mousetrap. Burglar trap. I'm going to patent it. Um, I'm going to have to ask you to start making sense here. <gasps> Scanners! Look out! I nuts or something. <laughs> Huh. Oh, puss in boots. I'll say. You are. We all are. 
Oh, this ain't good for me. Oh. Ah! Mm, they never should have delayed that spaying. Go get him, Wolf. Stick him, boy. Up yours, Opie. I ain't going. That's a great lap cap for William Conrad. <laughs> Oh, for dumb. Well, that's over. <laughs> that cat was eating that. Diddly dur hey. What have we got here? I suppose his correct name would be ammonia actrisulfate, diethyl chlorosine. And some other really scientific I stuff. Call it goo. Would that be simpler? No, not really. You know what? What? That's what. We're gonna make us a million bucks. I suppose. The million dollar ducks. Hey, this isn't kosher. I shouldn't be eating this. H.G. Wells, food of the ducks. Oh, sorry we couldn't show you the actual growing sequence. Oh, great. Now there's gonna be duck stuff all over the yard. Can you imagine if you fed this to cattle, or, or to chickens? Or Jim J. Bullock? Five, six times the size. Imagine the money. Genius, the first thing you've got to do is make some more of this stuff. If he can remember what he made it from. Of course I can. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, we're going inside now. <laughs> Go to the Dells, ride the ducks. <laughs> huh? Oh, real chunks of sodium diethylate. <laughs> What sin could a duck commit in a single lifetime? Willow. Koruba. First thing we'll do is patent the formula. First we find it. And market it. Then we love. Imagine the problems we're going to solve. Unlimited food supply at practically no extra cost. Yeah. Oh, and we got to keep this secret. Absolutely secret. Huh. Of course. Mm -hmm. The well oh. Fargo oh. wagon is a... Hmm? Hmm. All right, well. Scarlatti? I want to go walkies. Well, come on in. I can't. I'm a cheap effect. That's our freakish mishap. <laughs> he must have eaten some of the goo when you fed the duck. Oh, Mike, the ducks are gone. Our secret's flown the coop. <laughs> Oh, cool. Paris okay, is burning. Okay, need my stuff here? Yeah, why not? They closed this place down. Nobody oh, comes here anymore. Curtains are alive. Boy, Ooh. I was sure dirty. I'm glad we found this place to clean up in. She cleaned up real nice, Pa. I tried soaking them out and scrubbing them out. Hey, aren't you guys ready yet? I want to go boing, boing. I'll go get some mud. <laughs> it's hard to get a matinee audience. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Come on, guys, I want to do my Andy Williams review. Now, what is the story on you guys? You're going to kill yourself. You like my Orlon sweater? Be ready in a minute. <laughs> Boy, this place is really groovy. Ah, kids today. Hey, uh, what, are you girls going to take all night, huh? I'm coming. No, you're combing. <laughs> <laughs> Dig that nitty gritty. Stop slanging. What are you saying? That's a go go. Let's get over there. Does she have bionic hearing? The Beau Brummel. The Beau Bridges Brummel. The Beau Brummel Bridges of Madison County. <laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> Play, laugh, laugh. Play, woman, 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 woman. <laughs> Is that animal from the Muppets in the front then? Woman. Hey, Keno Reeves on bass. <laughs> I would go to Count Dracula. I can dance and chew gob. Lucas McCain, that's his kid. <laughs> of course, the famous Whiskey A Go Go in Haynesville. Hey, you want to fix those pipes while you're up there? Looks like a sea anemone. A lab experiment gone horribly wrong. Oh, she's been bloodless. Good God, step back, kiss myself. Whoa. I'm so embarrassed we all wore the same thing. <laughs> I hope we're English. Wow, we're really ugly, aren't we? Oh, 
Al Pacino looked for him. Did you play with your mouth closed? One and two and three and oh, I lost it. Shoot. Back again. Three, four. Hey, Suzanne Summers. Hey. Which one's Bo? Which one's Brummel? Uh, don't sing with me, Roy. Come on. Your USC Trojans! Oh, I thought the Fugs were gonna be here. Stop. Hey, get a load of that redhead up there, eh? Hey, you're getting a load of me? I can't stop doing this! <laughs> hey, it's Christian Sensation Grant Goodeve. Honey, let's Isn't there a movie in here somewhere? You gotta dig. Isn't it the Asian performance artist who broke up the Bo Brummels? <gasps> hey, looking back, it's a picture of the masker and his wife. Have you looked in the mirror lately? What? What? That is most dubious, dude. <laughs> My life is a lie. Obviously, the turtle camera can't be far behind. Wow, look at those ducks. Now, this is ridiculous. Yeah, first of all, we're assuming they paid cover. Now, where'd they get the money? Well, maybe they put it on their bill. Don't, don't, don't hit him. With <laughs> Big duck. Uh, what could take my eyes off the duck? Oh. <laughs> I love hip huggers, don't you? <laughs> Whoa. Hey, shake it, lady, die. <laughs> <laughs> It's better than the gym floor. Howard the Duck, behind the green door. Ooh. Boy, I think we better see how Frank is. Oh, yeah. yeah, good idea. Frank, honey, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Hey, Clay, good check evening. it out. Hey. John Vernon's on Acapulco Heat. Frank, do you even plan on looking for a job today? Hey, I put in some applications. Uh, I made some calls. Frank, you haven't moved since Vicky. Now, help me clean up. I've got an applicant coming. Well, I can see. What? Oh, Frank, don't worry. It might not even work out. I don't plan on paying him. Uh, it's open. Knock, knock. Ah, oh, Mr. Torgo, come in. Did you have a loom plan? Rarely, if ever. I, uh, my reference is. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh. Oh, I see you work for the master. From 73 to present. And you owned your own food delivery service for a time, I see. There were sanitation problems. I see. Um, any physical problems that would prevent you from... Frank, do you mind? Any physical problems that would prevent you from performing your responsibilities here? Uh, no. And finally... What would you say are your greatest strengths and your greatest weaknesses? Well, I, um, I work too hard. <laughs> I'm, uh, seriously, though, I, mm, I always finish what I start, and I make animal sacrifices by the dark of night. Terrific. Mr. Torgo, I'm willing to offer you a position. Oh, whoopee. You'll start immediately. You'll work 24 hours a day. You'll live on the premises in a three by three closet and you'll be paid in skunk pelts. Dr. Forrester, I'm your man. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, wonderful. Uh, let me show you to your accommodations. Right. Uh, first rule, no theme music. What theme music? was Big Duck Night tonight. You know, as in tune as Bird Eye was with the 50s, he just didn't get the 60s. Hey, those are my ducks. Well, get them out of here. Oh, 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 oh,
Now, what happened to him? What's going on well, around here? What's going on around here? Yeah. Oh, man, what a meal they'd make, huh? Take it back, take it back! So what have you been feeding them? Ah, it's my secret. It's a million dollar secret. Ah, strings. You can see the strings. Call the SPCA. Hey, listen, Pete's got a great idea. Peroxide. Perry asked the vital question, what they've been feeding those ducks. So? Well, it's some sort of a food additive, obviously. <laughs> it couldn't be anything else, could it? What's going on around here? Got a secret. A million dollar secret, they said. I like the sound of it. That mm -hmm. you'd like. Fantastic. Chicks love big ducks. Let's face it. It's gonna be very simple. Okay, first we get a lot of orange sauce and some basmati rice and chestnuts. It's hard to form okay. a V when there's just what two of us. <laughs> I'd offer to help, but the no thumbs things gets in the way, Opie. Well, Ronnie's starting to look pretty good to that dog right about now. Oh, what to do about Clint? Hmm. I really am big, aren't I? Dark boy. Look at him, the little kid plotting against us with Willow. <laughs> I liked Willow. Oh, you liked Will Kevin Pollock? You liked that? Point taken. <laughs> oh, he blew his hand <laughs> off. It's funny. <laughs> Charlie, they took my thumbs, Charlie. The ope of Greenwich Village. <laughs> Interesting, but not quite what we wanted. Back and to the left. <laughs> okay, while the Bogo must take a break, it's record time. And it's time to collect for the Will Rogers Institute. Make the fringe move. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to slow it down now, baby. 2A tray crayon. What's that? Oh, that's French, baby. It means you were incredible. Cherish is the word I use to describe. Dude, can I torment you with my femininity? Okay. It's difficult. Sure. Don't you want to dance? I'm waiting for my girl. Bird in the hand, they always say. I don't know what that means. They say it's good for the figure, the jerk. Must be. What? Huh? How'd you get into town anyway? The road's out. We walked down all the way from the slide. Well, the small talk isn't really working, huh? It's a long walk. They say it's good for the legs. What? That's what they say. I don't really get it. One coke, please. Of all the disco techs in the world, why don't you have to come in here? Glad to see oh, Satan's you. art is on sale. <laughs> say, uh, they got a pretty good crowd here tonight. Got some ice. Yeah. Here you are, honey. I never saw anyone do that. Wait before. up, no. I have strong hands. <laughs> I guess. Muscles are very important to me. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. What is it, some sort of vitamin? Is it known for its work in the theater? Stuff that made the ducks grow like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. Well, I guess you could call it a vitamin if you wanted to. Like a pill or something? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I, I, I spend a lot of my time heaving around sides of beef. My old man's in the meat business in Los Angeles. Hmm? Isn't that interesting? Goodbye. A uh, 400 pound side of beef over your shoulder really does tighten up your muscles, let me tell you. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Help me! Help. He's about the, uh, the biggest in the business, I guess. My old man, I mean. Oh, yes. Yeah, you, you gotta see the size of it. Hey, yeah, he handles a lot of ground chuck and all. Got an idea. Frank and stuff. So you take a hot dog and you cram well, chili. Now you're gonna dance, little lady. Uh, no, uh, wait a minute. Come on now. This is good music. This is the kind of stuff you don't like to dance to, you know? Where do you get your teeth filled? I bet you've got it hidden away someplace. Yeah. Sure we have. Like it's a secret? Like it's a secret. What? You wouldn't mind telling me, would you? Or have you already? I forgot. It's hidden in my closet behind the sneakers. Oh, God. I don't know. Have to think about that. Uh -huh. Let me kiss your nasal labial trough again. Getting better. Almost made up my mind. Wow. So sick. Hey, uh, I just thought of something. You're supposed to be dancing, not thinking. Uh, I was just thinking, you know? Now, this stuff that you guys came up with, I mean. Pants. Uh, pants for sale. Help, Who wants pants? Mike knows what he's doing. Yeah, but, uh, in a, in a hick town like this, uh, 
I mean, like, if you knew somebody in town, someone in Los Angeles, somebody oh, Los Angeles. Really knows the business. Someone that, like your own man. Exactly, right. Hey, right. look, Dano. Take him some of his stuff, yeah. you know what I mean? And it'd just be amazing what this man I could do with it. Exactly. Bees? Bees, yes, quite. Just one more time. I think I'll make up my mind. There. We got a deal? Well, throw in the tongue and we got a deal. Tell me. This is about right. Check in with some dust. Fall forward. Fall forward. Contact light. You're just a shade too eager. Engine stop. To pay it. Huh. I've just been rejected by Tommy Kirk. I can't get any lower than this. Come on, on the level, honey. Now, come on. I'm trying to uh, do something for you. I want to help you. I could introduce you to my brother, Jeff. Why? Why? I guess it's just because I just, uh, I can't resist helping somebody There's like Alan Arkin. And, uh, what am I doing dancing here? I don't know I'm I dancing. Like simple as that. What about your girlfriend? What's her name? Oh, Marie. Oh, come on, baby. She's not my girlfriend. She's, uh, she's one of the group, that's all. It's it looks the like they're dancing near a collapsed star. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose, uh... Oh, Bo, 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 the hand thing Angeles. isn't working, Bo. Together. Those are two of us, just you. Dueling cardigans. And my baby. Listen, we were just, uh, it's amazing, we were talking about this stuff that you yeah. just... Oh. He allowed himself to be threatened by Tommy Kirk. Hi, I'm the adult child of an alcoholic, and I got great faith eyes. Pa, 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 pa. <laughs> How do you like those ducks? Oh, good line. Stupid, stupid. Um, uh... Barbecue. That's how I like them. <laughs> Thanks for providing the transition. The naked corpse of Paul Prudhomme gets roasted on a stick. <laughs> it's fun to kill things. <laughs> I dreamed I was standing by a big dead duck in my underwear. Some great strong warriors turn old mighty duck. Yeah, you like this, huh? It's Agnes Moorhead holding a bunch of balloons. Welcome to Bunland, flesh capital of the world. I guess this village has no parents. Look, I know you're fond of the rifleman, but take the hat off. It doesn't work anymore. Tommy's hair gets higher with every scene. And so does Tommy. No, no, you don't get soup. They're not par buffet, okay? Take our word for it, we're carving a duck. I'm sure the meat from the huge mutated duck has no side effects. She lives. You guys Fuck find you. a place to sleep? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, uh, we're camping out at the old theater. Yeah, what's going on around here? It's as good a place as any, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Hey, man. You know what we're doing? We're making history. And eating it, too. You mean we're having history instead of potatoes? Mm. Mm. Genius? Mm -hmm. Just trying to figure out how to make some more goo. The president wants his duck. Just put it on the plate. That's right. Back away. Mmm. Paper mache. Mmm. Um. Opie, 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 opie. <laughs> opie. Man, the paper boy will find you anywhere to collect, huh? Jello, three, two, one. Comfort. This time I was sure I had it. That's a very elusive formula. Had what, kiddo? Kiddo! And I didn't steal no bike, well, neither. You genius, if you don't mind. Okay, genius. No offense. None taken. What formula? For the goo. There's not much of them. They want me to make some more. But it's not easy. Why don't we... Do it in the road. Go for a walk, genius. Buy an ice cream cone. I never touch it. It's high in cholesterol. But I'll go for a walk with you. Wow. Opie shoots, he scores. Mm. Oh, oh, no. no. Oh, it's oh. Tommy Kirk in little pants. Oh. They were trying pretty hard to find out about the goo, weren't they? <laughs> Guess they can smell a profit. Tommy Kirk discussing goo makes me very uncomfortable. Yes. Look at his hair. Guess this ought to be safe enough. Now let's go scare everyone with my thighs. <laughs> you said thighs. Oh, sorry. What did you break? Hmm? Did you break something? Shut up. You're suffocating me. Wasn't that you? 
No. Hmm? It's been a hard day's night. Oh. Ow! Ziggy Stardust. <laughs> Get off my land, you dang smoochers! Oh, no. Let's put some pants on, Tommy. No, no. Spiders don't growl, even that big. Oh. You know, I guess you really can't prove that when they're that big, they don't growl. I like Willow. <laughs> Wait a minute. Jim Cotto? Wow! <laughs> wow! <Whoa. laughs> Strong enough for a spider, but made for a woman. Put the whole thing down. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I should be supporting whatever the hell you're doing. Wow, this is almost MacGyver-esque. Why is she spray painting the spider? Get off the ground. Get up the stairs. Get off the wet floor. Get stairs up, off wet. Yeah. Oh, I get it. Ah, pure eye, Gordon. <laughs> mm, roasted spider. And everyone gets a leg. Mm. Make it go away, Tommy! <laughs> you killed him. You killed the spider. Ah, my plan worked perfect. Oh, no. oh, Fortunately, his little terry top soaks up the mess. <laughs> you all right? Oh, that's a fool question to ask. Well, are you? Turn it back on. Mm. Well, sure. Just, just scared is all. You don't have to be. Not with me around. I like the pool better. So we've heard. Just gotta find that valve. I reject Tommy Kirk and all his works. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Close your shirt. We have your chest surrounded. <laughs> the yard gnomes come to life. Very, very white collar crime. It will just meet the. G hey, you're already here. I have been dying to get in here and clean this basement. Oh, you know, I heard he's on the window pane. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. my. I have a freak out. Blue heavens. The Johnson teen door, so your teen can get in and out easily. Uh, meow. Meow. Uh, uh. Look outside, it's daylight again. These adventures are down here somewhere. Huh, big dead spider. Hm. Sun, sun, everywhere sun. Twin reverb. He is so close to being Billy Moomy. Hmm. Billy Moomy. Billy Moomy. <gasps> Mom? Mother? Oh, Mother. <laughs> it's her. Mommy, Mommy, Mommy. <laughs> Let him have his fun. <laughs> My roots. Drink it. Finish it. Well, enough window shopping. Better get at it. It's starting to get dark again. The professor, too. This part is very true to the H.G. Wells book. Yeah. <laughs> he is self consciously dreamy. Wow, how long have you been there? <laughs> Boy, being a backup dancer was easy back then. Chuck Connors pretty much said I was the best kid actor alive ever in the world. Well, he probably wouldn't be as stupid as to hide it in here, but I'll check. Hey, he saved the cartilage from his knee surgery. Good gravy, great goo. There you go, that'll be a buck forty-nine. Thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna grab some steaks out of the freezer over there. Don't, don't you touch! She cannot be bought for pocket change. What, what, what? Mom! Oh no, no! She's putting out for a nickel. <laughs> I have no mother. Oh. Poor dumb kid. Oh. 
There. Well, looks like he left to cut his foot off with his pen knife. <laughs> You're up. Love, love, love. On a star spangled night. Apparently, you were great. What goes on up there? It's a star, a star shining. What kind of a dress code does this town have? <laughs> a good one. It is. <laughs> oh, seeing Tommy Kirk in shorts would make me back off too. <laughs> Come on, surrender the pink. Come on. <laughs> it's just fruit fly medium. Are we a mime troop all of a sudden? Oh, it goes. Oh, where is it? <laughs> you made my shirt a bra. I love you. You know, those grass stains will never come out. Jim Bag! I saw Jim Bag. Affectionately funny. Okay, Mike, it's your turn to sign the card for Frank. Yeah, thanks. You know, this is pretty and all, but uh, isn't it really more appropriate for the death of a loved one? Well, it was either this one or for a special girl on her first communion. Whoa, heads up, guys. We got something coming in on the hex field. Oh. oh. Frank? Frank! Frank! Hey, hi, guys. Hey, you gotta help me out, man. Frank, where are you? Well, I'm in the janitor's closet. I was supposed to be out of Deep 13 a while ago, and Dr. Forrester's hassling me for phone money. Oh, man, that's rough, man. Say, would you guys uh, sign my unemployment thing for unemployment that says I've been seeking employment and stuff? Could you make like I applied for a job here? Well, Frank, that's fraud. I mean, I guess we'd at least have to uh, interview you for a position. Even though we're not really hiring at this time. Okay, go ahead, shoot. Okay, Mr. Frank, uh, describe some of the challenges you met in your last job. Well, Dr. Forrester would kill me a lot, so mm. time management was really crucial. Mm. Mm. You're not gonna have babies, are you? Crow, you wanna... Well, now tell me about your interpersonal style. Well, I, uh, I have a hard time um, communicating ah, with people, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, I tend to settle disagreements through violence. Oh, hmm. I see, yeah. Oh, and I pilfered from all my employers. Oh, wow. Frank! Frank! Dr. Forrester! Come right now, Frank! Dr. Forrester, I'm in here. Mm. Wow. Ah, man, I'm at a total crossroads in my life. Say, this burrito's really good. Well, well Frank, try, good. Frank. Ah, wow. Frank's looking really rough. Mm -hmm. well, we could always create a position for him. Huh, I got a position. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Frank, mm -hmm. poor we did. dumb galoot. Wow. We always mm. had some. Who got the goo? They got it. One of them ran off with it. I was going to stop him, but but what? Reasons of pure logic. He was bigger than me. <laughs> Holy smoldering crawdads. Well, at least Tommy's terry top is intact. As soon as I find the formula, I'll simply make some more. I just hope you can. Sure I can. There's nothing to it. Just a matter of perseverance. Well, that switch came on. <laughs> this guy went to Peter Breck acting school. That one. Let's put a shell on him and he's a teenage mutant ninja turtle. Yeah. And then there was light. Hmm, I thought God would dress better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Man, well, that last it was a pretty good rumble. Anyone get hurt? Besides me losing my brain. Fred! Oh, no, uh, two more minutes and then I flatten him. Okay, now we got it. What are we gonna do with it? We get rich, that's what we do with it. I know, hey. let's do a production in our town. Uh, what if this makes everything grow, huh? Everything? <laughs> you mean like, uh, plants and things? 
No, I don't think that's what he means at all. Wow. Hey, don't be a jerk, huh? Too late. What's the matter, Fred? <laughs> Running scared? Yeah, he's scared. No, I just got more sense, that's all. He always said you wanted to be a big man. And now's your chance. <laughs> <laughs> I see what yeah, you mean, real Gary. Big man. <laughs> yeah, unless you're scared. Show him, Fred. Show him that you're not no chicken. <laughs> Will you cut it out? The Reader's Theater version of Noises yeah, Off. Yeah, that's a wild <laughs> idea, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chicken, huh? Are you? Marie? Are you out of your mind? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, will you cut it out and leave it alone, huh? Hey, pretty boy, if I want to try some of this stuff, just don't you try and stop me, understand? It's because you're some kind of coward. What, are, are, are you trying to prove something? Are, are, huh? are, are, are you trying to prove something? Yeah. Trying to prove you're all talk. All talk and no He's performance. The spies. The spies. The spies. The rest of the herd awaits Pete, the outcome. You better do something. Like give me the rest of my outfit? Pete? No, why should I? This could be very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you want to try some of it, huh? Wow. I will if you will. Mm -mm, you're on the spot, lover. No! Here's Shut me. up! Well, give me your knife, huh? Come on. Yeah, give me your huh? knife. Yeah, Knife, yeah. Oh. There you go. Whoa. I'm gonna moon you, man. <laughs> Let's see, there's uh, two, four, six, eight of us. That's eight pieces. Oh, oh no, not on the waterbed, kids. No, no, no. Oh dear, make mine half that big. Oh, I shouldn't have any at all. I've eaten so much over the holidays. I, it all looks so good. I'm gonna eat my dessert first. You should see my thighs. Oh, Not me, blood. Fred. Count me out. I ate a couple of days ago. <laughs> you too, honey. Just like the rest of us. We all take it. Well, come on, take it. Well, I usually have it Nobody on Nobody chickens Chris. out, all right? <laughs> Nobody. Well. <laughs> you ate it. You fell for it. <laughs> oh, just get a room. <laughs> Will my melanoma grow too? She's been pan fried. Well, eat it, honey. Don't be scared. Figurines does a lady proud. It's the diet lunch that you can crunch out loud. <laughs> Oh, you know, girls at that age grow very quickly. Oh, oh it went right to my hips. <laughs> it's tasty and it makes me tan and stuff. Huh? I forgot to wear a bra. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The maiden formless woman. You never know where she'll turn up. The ravaging effects of Osgood Slaughter's disease. Hmm. Bow nose acting. Yeah. Well, now he's the brawny paper towel guy. Jeez, could have won the war with these kids. Mm. Oh, this is great. No, oh, I didn't grow proportionately. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, she's really got her hands full. Oh, yes. <laughs> the horn section's growing, too. I can tell. <laughs> The first thing we do is get ourselves to Elaine Bryant. <laughs> What's the matter, Hotshot? Don't you like your new size? Shut up, little weird guy. I was big enough before. <laughs> <laughs> Look what happened to us. And all these girls can oh. think of is their modesty. <laughs> uh, please take a moment and consider your hey. own modesty. Hey, what have we done? Well, well, whatever it is, we're stuck with it. Stuck with it. So why don't we make the most of it? If it's gonna make a difference. Yeah. I hope they eat him first. Mm. I was just thinking, wait till my old man gets tough with me again, huh? But he probably won't, because you're big. We're mm. freaks, Rick. Dog girls Maybe have a tough enough time dating. You just wait till the next guy asks me for my ID card. Oh, boy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now maybe it won't be so easy for them to kick us around anymore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The adults, honey. Oh. This isn't their world anymore. It's gonna be ours. Yeah. We'll turn the tables on them. What? Come on, let's split and have some fun, huh? Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's get out of here, huh? Right. But I don't have anything to wear. We know. <laughs> be my guest. Ega. Uh, 
it's stuff that I'm happy about. <laughs> Ponds and opium. He pampered in God's domain. Ooh, doggy breath, lots of it. Hmm. Aunt B's got diabetes. Why are we here? Hey, it's up with people. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. This is David Duke's dream. <laughs> well, hmm. oh, Giants look pretty good this year, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, where's Waldo? Should uh, someone mention they're big? <laughs> hey, now what happened to the music? Let's wail. Well, yeah, come on, let's. Dance. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, oh. 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 They think they're so big. Oh. Oh. They're oh. giant hinders will kill us. I'll say. Oh, man. The giant hinders are approaching the city. <laughs> so there was ecstasy in the jello stuff? I think so. Mm. She likes her job. I like her job, too. Whoa, one of those could take out the whole town. Oh, now it's oh. almost like that's gratuitous. Large. You could probably stick your head right in her nail. <laughs> oh, don't think I haven't thought of it. <laughs> Go have a fling with the happy chef. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to suspect this might be padding. Oh, no, no, it's all oh, that's real. May I cut in? Wow, huh? Wow. <laughs> My neck. Oh. Look at that big, giant, pig-nosed teeners. Oh, men shouldn't shimmy. Especially 50-foot boat bridges. Boy, getting huge didn't give him any more rhythm, did it? I just think, now that girl looks like leather, smells like Marlboro's Burles and Giorgio, and makes her grandchildren call her by her first name. Come here, give Rosie a kiss. <laughs> Man, they're big. This one gets them every time. Don't hate me, because I'm giant. <laughs> Susan, I think we should see other people. <laughs> Whoa. Phew, glad that's not me. I'd hate it. First base is larger than I remember. <laughs> oh, if she hugs anybody, I'll kill him. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Uh, I think they'd mind if we all left. Giant teens should have really thought out their reign of terror. Right. I'd love to see you again sometime. I know Glenn Manning wasn't this much fun. Urban Cowboob. It'll be over now. This is all fun for now, but they're still going to have to go back to college come the fall. Please be over. Well, uh, I'm gonna get going. Sure, they're big and stuff, but it gets old. I'll harm you. <laughs> Tell her to put him down, or I'll beat the daylights out of you. Huh? Yes! yes. All, right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, she's going after his wallet. I'm not done. Mike? I stubbed my shorts. The time has come for pants, Mike. Now, uh, let's cut it out, huh? I mean, you little guys are taking this all wrong. We're on your side. Who's turning all it for the press ride? All of us against adults. Now, how about that, huh? We're taking over for now. You, you regular guys are going to be part of this. We're just going to help you. 
Yeah, well, what if we don't want to be a part of it? Huh? How can you say that? I mean, haven't they kicked you around long enough? Hmm. Maybe we don't like your club either. <laughs> You're in it anyway. Look, free breast rides and we'll Listen, wave we membership nothing fees. nothing to worry about. Because when we've taken over, a maid... Oh, I'm already worried. I'm worried about how funny you really are. Hecklers. You take over, huh? Oh, you're just trying to trade places with them is all. Hmm. Same result. If you had any brains, you'd see that. How very animal farm Hey, man, this guy's a lousy rebel. And yeah. he'll never, uh, ever be any good. Look, uh, oh. Oh. whether you like it or not, little man, we're just going to have to show you what's good for you. That's all. Yeah. What's good for all of us teenagers. Now pray to my satin tap pants. Oh, oh, no. Glenn Super's here. A big giant teen, sir? I don't pretend to understand what's going on what? around here, but it just Speak up. my attention that the theater was broken into last night. Huh? I got a pretty good idea who did the breaking into. Because there wasn't one roll of toilet paper left. Why don't you go back to the theater and wait there? Why don't you shut up and go home, sure? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to say that. Well, listen, you do like I say. You go back and wait there for me. You understand? Is that clear? Anything you say, Sheriff, you're the boss. Unless... How long do you think it would take me to bend that rifle around your neck, Sheriff? All right, that's it. Get in the car, son. <laughs> oh, why don't we just step on them? Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why don't I do that? I never did like the fuzz. Right. Okay, man. man. Okay, okay. Don't touch my bare chest, boy. Yeah, sure, Sheriff. There's no problem. Still a coward, huh? You're lucky, says Rick. Yeah. Leave him alone. Let's get back. <sighs> Little... Okay, Sheriff, we've given your idea a lot of thought, and we've decided to step on you. Now, Sheriff, listen, you, you really are a big man. Uh, At least, uh, you were until we came. Uh, hmm. uh, but, uh, like you say, Boy, they're well, we'll big. go right back to the theater. Still big. No guns, you have to worry about nothing. Mm, they're big. Well, uh, bye then. <laughs> bye. Every oh. time we get big people through here, there's trouble, isn't there? Okay, show of hands. Who wet them? I wet mine and yours, sir. Oh. Thank you, all right. Yeah, sure. I just feel like I've, I've been hit by a ton of bricks. Would some pants help, son? <laughs> Tonight, right here on our stage, really big show, big, 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 big show. <laughs> wanted to do Little Women, but they can't! <laughs> <laughs> They're big. big. How'd you sleep, honey? Did you get a good rest? Mm-hmm. And, Fred, what's gonna happen to us? We'll probably get drafted by the Cavs. I don't know. Uh, as long as it lasts, I guess we'll just have to live with it. We hate you, Conrad! Oh, yes, yes we, we do! do. Mm. Let me do the talking. Wait a minute, men. This is a studio lot. I want the rest of you men to wait here. Hello, freaks. Hello. What? what? Tell me, Mike and the sheriff. He's got a gun. A gun? Yep. No sweat. It's been taken care of. I shaved my legs. Did you get her? Ooh. Yep. Don't touch that. Where is she? <laughs> Out of sight. Hey, now what is happening? Down, <laughs> shirts. I'm know. hungry, too. What's for breakfast? Humonga Chonga. Sheriff on toast. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, let's take it from the top. Morning, Sheriff. Mike. All right, let's get one thing clear. You catch up. As I said, I don't understand what's happened, and I'm not going to worry about it. Now, last night, you people showed me the... What? Huh? What? In this town, trouble is one thing that I just won't have. The whole town says they're sorry. Now, would you quit peeing in the pools? You wouldn't want to call any scientists, would they? No, no, no. Get out and don't come back. Yeah, well, that, that's clear enough, Sheriff. Only, uh, I mean, we kind of like it here, you know? We kind of figure we might stay. Yeah. And there's nothing you can do about it. Mm. Nothing. Well, you 
people just do what I say or there'll be hmm? some trouble. Oh, no kidding. Uh, what kind of trouble, Sheriff? You aiming to use that gun? I have to, yes. Sheriff, how many guns do you have in this town, huh? Look, that's no concern of yours. You're leaving. Oh, don't make book on it. When Fred wants something, he usually gets it. She ought to know. Don't you, honey? <laughs> Thank you, honey and men. You better believe it. What makes you think I can't arrest you? What? Oh, now, Sheriff, you, you'd shoot me in cold blood? Why don't you grab a seat, nurse, and I think I see two together over there. <laughs> this is going to be mighty interesting. World's biggest <laughs> Cub Scout. How was your daughter when you left her this morning, Sheriff? She was watching that stupid Barney show. Got it. Show him, Rick boy. Yeah, show him what's going on here. I don't know. Huh? Daddy! Daddy! Hmm? Make him put me down! Please, Daddy! <laughs> Sorry, honey. Needs of the many and all. Go ahead, Sheriff. Use your gun. Cut me down. Make her day. But if you miss, you might hit this loud, screaming little brat of yours. Be nice to the giant, honey, or he'll Lord squish you. <laughs> That's not such a bad idea. What isn't? What, what's going on? Did I miss a page? Wait I a don't like it, see? And I am the guy that gives the word around here. Yeah. Like I said, boss, we got ourselves some insurance. Something we need. They brought guns, remember? Just like always, keep the kids in line. Wait a minute, they're this huge and they have to extort? Okay, okay. But I don't like it. Oh, Pete. Don't worry. Nobody's gonna hurt her. As long as the sheriff is gonna play ball with us. Uh, can we not play bombardment? You guys have the advantage. All right. Thank you. There's my guns. Rick, uh... Are you sure you know what you're doing? Put her down now! No! Ling Ho! <laughs> or not, whatever. That'll do. What? You hear that, Fred? No. Anything we want, that's what he said. All right, man, all right. Okay, we want huge underoos, gigantic flush toilets, and a uh, four day work uh, week. Sheriff, we are going to take over this town, and uh, we are going to make quite a few changes. Now, first of all, there's going to be a 9 o'clock curfew for all adults. Hmm. How do you like that, huh? Well, it sounds very sensible, son. You all have son. freedom of speech, just as uh, long as we approve of what you say. The young Jesse A working Hales. party is going to have to find food for us every day, and... Uh, we want French lessons. Well, needless to say, our appetites are going to be pretty big, hmm? Because we've been working out. In fact, uh... We're big. Why don't we start with something right now, huh? Mike. Uh, why don't you get me, uh, some chicken? Why don't you... Pause. Okay, can I... Come on, boy, jump to it. Mike, come on. That, that's a boy, yeah. Maybe he says what? Uh, I like to see Tommy Kirk get pushed around. Now, uh, Rick, Harry, now you guys know what you gotta do, huh? Now, uh, I want you to uh, take care of all the communication. Knock out the telephones, radios, the radios everything you see, yeah. right? Put me down! A little mermaid of Copenhagen. All right. Huh? What? <sighs> Speak up. If you could just hear me, I'm reading you the uh, riot act. No, she stays right here. Stop now, you, you do just as you're told, Sheriff, and nobody is going to get hurt. And one more thing, Sheriff. We want all the guns in the town brought here. Is that clear? Then I'll take my child home. <laughs> what? <laughs> sure. Yeah, we'll take care of her just as long as you do as you're told. Well, you do as they're told at further. As if that's ever not that. Yeah. Friggin' theater people. You see, Fred boy, all it takes is a little cooperation. And some hot rollers. We're really going to take over this town. Hey, you know, Ron must have gotten directing tips from Bird Eye. <laughs> That's why he made Willow. Hey, I liked Willow. Ah, well, you would... Whoa. Ooh. Hey, Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> it's a robotic toity brush. Ugh. It's going into Charles Bukowski's sink. <laughs> well, back to the old drawing board. I inhabit a nightmarish universe all my own. Mm -hmm. Willow. Hmm. <laughs> well, 
have to remember to try that again sometime. Oh. Opie's first martini. Should a boy offer a dog a martini? No. The NRA nightmare. You mock my words! Save your bad temper, Sheriff, till you can find a better use for it. What? Hey, sweetie. Hey, what's going on, babe? Stop hey. it. Hey, how about a little just, date? Just move along, citizen. Come on, what are you doing? <laughs> yes. you step on the weather up there? Stop it now. Hey, an article by William Sapphire. It's so ironic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir, we can't break a 20. And we're still working on your huge sporks. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Nom. Must be classic Mike, coke. you are amazing, man. Really, you're doing just fine. I don't think I could do any better myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might even put you in charge of supervising the uh, adults. <laughs> hey, why not? Man? You're really. beautiful, baby. You um... and a few of your friends will put you in charge of checking adult ID cards. Wow, and, a job! You know, just kind of keeping an eye on their social activities. Make sure they keep out of trouble, you know. You have any dark meat? And I'm music. They gotta leave it alone. Oh, quite definitely. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're done being sarcastic. You can leave now. Yeah. Hey, uh, now, what are you just standing there for, huh? We need coleslaw and wet <laughs> naps, man. man. Leave. <laughs> I feel really unappreciated. It's up to us now, Lucy. There's only one thing we can do. Wear little tiny there's pants. There's nothing we can do, Mike. Not while they've got a hostage. That's just it. We'll sacrifice the hostage. You've got to get us a hostage of our own. Terry Anderson. Hmm. A giant stripper. <laughs> Steps are what you take. Or oh, someone stinky's got a pants full. Look, Ed Gein's the driver. Ow. Well, they're funny cars, but they're not really that funny. No. Mm -hmm. Peter Fonda. Hey, don't look up my area. Ah, ah, come on. The FX and Willow was better than this. Hey, you liked Willow. I... Man, are my legs ugly. Woo. <laughs> hey, wait, those aren't even my legs. Fiberglass. You bad eczema. Whoa, that was stupid. Should have seen it coming. I can't get my legs to move. <laughs> <laughs> it's an elaborate plan to inconvenience him. I get it. I think she meant to put this around my feet, not those mannequin legs down there. Suddenly, he snaps a tether and kills a coolie. Well, I... Oh. No. Well, I... Huh? A buffalo shot that covers three states. Just for the <laughs> ladies. <laughs> Just lasso him, Tex. It gets his money's worth out of the giant leg. I guess so. Hey, hey, guys, look. I bet that's Frank. <gasps> Hi, Mike. Hi, bots. Just called to say goodbye. You guys have been the best victims a fella could ever want. Thanks. Oh, Frank, we'll miss you, too, but yeah. we'll always remember the good times. Uh, in fact, we have remembered the good times. Cambot helped us hit it. TV's Frank. This one's for you. It's going out to my very special friend. 
Frank, the sun never shone upon our love before until there was Frank. Up to you, from me to you, sweet floppy Frank. We've had a lifetime of Frank. An endless Frank will always flow for all we know. For all we know. Frank, from the first day I knew your name, I never knew love was the same. Never knew love was the same. Open to find sweet Frank on the line, nothing but sweet love and Frank. Cause it's Frank. knowing that love could be Frank if only the sun and the moon would collide to be Frank. Let me be Frank about Frank. Let me be Frank about Frank. Let me be Frank about Frank. Cause Frank is the best Frank that's ever happened to me. Please, please don't go. <laughs> oh, bye, Frank. You were enjoyed. <laughs> I can't go. I've given Dr. Forrester my heart and soul and liver. <laughs> Darn it, I love this job. I'm not gonna let some smooth talking shark like Torgo take it away. <laughs> That's right, Frank. You've never given up on anything in your life. Well, you have, but don't give up on this one. You're right, Mike. I've gotta figure out some sneaky, dishonest way of reclaiming what I lost fair and square. But how? Hmm. Oh, I wonder you what he's got planned. Honey. What? Mike! What? Let me go! Let's go! Gee, snap, crackle, and pop gonna hold him back. <laughs> okay, fellas. You want me to leave her up there, or shall I pluck her down for you? What'll it be? Oh, leave her. Jim Bag. I heard the noise. I figured you might need some help. Boy, they almost got you, didn't they? Nearly got me. I can laugh Take about her down. it now. Take her to the theater. This is like the Swiftian part of a Fellini From film, on, and it's Kafka-esque. Stay with us. <laughs> There's only one thing we can do. We can make s'mores. Get those guns. Jim Beg. Right. Jim Beg. Basically, the problem is this. My hand stuck. I get into the theater and get the guns without getting discovered. Uh, 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 uh. And how to put the guard, whoever that may be, out of action long enough to recover the hostages with the guns. But that's not going to be so easy. If we try to pull anything, who knows what's liable to happen to that child? And you are? Or to Nancy. Mike, there's nothing we can do. She's translucent. Yeah, on her own. <sighs> the road's still closed. We don't even know outside what's going on in here. Jim Beg. On her own is right. The sheriff sure isn't much help. Not much you can do under the circumstances. Mm. That's why it's up to us. We've got to raid the theater. Oh, no. Well, OK. They always seem to leave just one guard on duty, sort of like a sentry. <laughs> Mike will never get away with it. We will. And there's just one thing we need. Jim Peg? Ether. <laughs> Ether? I'm hornswoggled. Genius. Hmm? We need your brains. Take your hand out of your pocket. I just made Miller clear. I thought you'd need me sooner or later. Do you know how to make ether? Ether, I do it or I don't? What kind you need? <laughs> cyclopropyl, methyl, ethylene propyl, propanyl ethyl, hmm? or cyclopropyl vinyl ethyl. Or poopa poco a poco. <laughs> if you want dibbon oxide, it might be a little more difficult. Or poopa popco a poco. Or of course, terribly complicated. <laughs> Or ascotopupa the loop of okay. <laughs> I have nitric acid and calcium chloride. Or ascotopoca <laughs> lock of the ethyl ether very easily. Vodka. Take this crazy kid. Or whiskey. Any kind of alcohol, really. Or pure heroin. I'm a little older, of course. Yeah. Yeah, we know about that. Hey, do we have some alcohol in the first aid kit? Yeah, I'll get it. Oh, wait, Clint drank it all. But even so, if we're disturbed, we won't be. Mike, you can't be sure of that. Jim Beck. The main thing is to keep the rest of them away. Keep them occupied. The Red's come up with a scheme to keep the boys occupied. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. The way I plan it, the boys will be watching me. Wow. And then? Jim Beck. You got a problem with giants, right? Right. Ever heard of David and Goliath? 
Yeah, dopey cartoon-like thing, right? Yeah. Our very own Fanny Flag. Lifesavers, lifesavers can't be beat. Hey, lifesavers. If that were Lucy, I'd have to kill myself. Huh. No, our love will not fade away. Hey, have some chicken, man. <laughs> Our teen dynasty here isn't that great. Wild stuff. She really knows how to move, doesn't she? Come on, it's like getting turned on by Thumbelina to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoops, saw something on the floor there. <laughs> Baby, I wish I was your size again. <laughs> then I could wear that outfit. Didn't Tammy Wynette donate that get-up to charity? You know, this isn't the usual entertainment with takeout chicken. Mm -hmm. What was she distracting them from again? I don't remember. Oh, kind of threadbare back there. She <laughs> must sit a lot. Yeah. Now it's just getting weird, guys. Huh? Oh, that color orange does not exist in nature. Mm -mm. Buzz, buzz, the magic buzz. <laughs> To him, it's kind of a sexy puppet show. Are you still distracted? Because my neck hurts. Oh, Ricky, you're so fine. You're so fine. Some chicken, Nancy? Yes, it is. Daddy, when I let him hurt us, Woody, Woody, Nancy, no, of course not, honey. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah, right. There must be a pony around here. Now, you don't have to be sore with me, honey. Did you, did you see what they what they tried to do to me? They could have killed me with those hot rods. And they made me did stutter by lines. They, they should have. Now, will you please not talk like that, huh? You know how I feel about you. Then let us go, both of us. You know better than that. You see, when a giant man and a tiny woman town, like... For the first time in my life, I'm a, I'm a big man in more ways than one. Don't. You know how it is at our age, honey. Uh, don't do this, don't do that. Make sure you read the sign. Don't, 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 don't. don't. No, 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 it's like no, it's the only no, word no. That they know how to say is don't drink, don't smoke, don't drive too fast. Don't wear giant togas. The only word that they know how to use. Well, I tell you something. Oh, you see, the show in this ball. town, the, show the authority is all mine. Oh, the chicken's getting cold. And Get over nobody there. Nobody is going to say don't to me by any Lunch, honey. You're no god to us, okay. mister. You're a rebel. I'm impressed. Well, you better be. I will get them with my mighty click clacks. <laughs> I could break down the defenses by wearing little pants again. The intifada begins. <laughs> Reaction. <laughs> <laughs> It's like David and uh, Holly go lightly. Yeah. Hey, Fred! We've got a visitor. Oh, uh, is Dave around? Dave? Oh. Fred? <laughs> You're disrupting. Come blow your horn. What are you trying to do? Trying to show what a big man he is. Ah, he couldn't hit the barn side of a broad. <laughs> Why don't I just pick him up and throw him away? Attack of the 50-foot Abba. <laughs> Stomp on to be more like it. Yes, no. do it. Yes. He's cute. He wants to fight. She thinks I'm cute. <laughs> okay, Goliath, here's your spear. Ooh. I'm big. You're all guts, Fred. Yeah, hey, I think you're releasing a little early. Why don't you try a looser grip? All right. So does super slow mo equal huge? I guess. In Bert's world. Oh, lay. You're better with a spear than I am with a sling. Well, don't make book on it. Or things will happen. Come on, Fred, teach him. <laughs> I'm a minx. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to do, Mr. Bond. <laughs> Well, maybe your feet are just aimed off to the right. Nice try, <laughs> Goliath! Gotta dance! I hope he gores the little freak. <laughs> Come on, quick! 
Anybody want some candy? Oh, no. Let's go. Jim Bag. Whoa, I just saw Jim Bag's love handles. Ooh. Oh, no, they're there again. Jim Bag. Jim Bag. Jim Bag. Marie, hmm? get in there and watch that kid. Poor Marie. I want to watch. Don't worry. He likes to watch. I'm going to give you his head on a silver platter. Oh, that's yeah. empty calories. Dr. Samson and Delilah. That's right, for 30 points. Get in there. That was John the Baptist. Most of the town didn't have a problem with the giant regime. Well, at least the trains ran on time. <laughs> I think I'll use a spear again, maybe choke up a little bit. I'm gonna cut you in pieces, little man. Come on, baby. This is gonna be better than a ball game. Come on, turn into Elvis, baby. Why don't you wrestle a little for me? Yeah, and a little white tight a little funky. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That boyfriend of yours is gonna get the daylights beaten out of him. <laughs> and how do you like that? <laughs> I think that's pretty good. <laughs> How do you feel about it? Jim Peg. Yep. Nancy, look. Oh, Lolita, sweet. That's two hard spots before my eyes. Don't try anything, honey. Wow. You just stay right there and you'll be all right. Acre of fun. <gasps> Thank you. Jim Peg and the I Am Force. Should any of you or your pudgy incompetence be caught or killed, the rest of us will be glad. <laughs> Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of the breasts, I... Both hands, brothers. Just kill him. Mm, I feel good. <laughs> Is this the H.G. Wells part? Well, I'm going to start heading to the car. This could go on a while. <laughs> Eldritch Cleavage. <laughs> oh, he's headed for a snack canyon. We have reached the summit. I don't need padding. There. To heck with the plan. I'm staying here. That's all for that. Not for those guns. Jim Peg. I've got to get to Mike. Chuck, take the girl home, will you? Right. I'm not eating this soup. Wolf, we've come up with another pumice compound. Pumice compound? Failed again. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to start sniffing you now. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps if you tried more acetonutrino, could, uh, you'll use Hey, don't do that! Keep away! I didn't do anything! <laughs> Honey. Melting, melting, melting. Oh, aromatherapy. Hmm, smells like Tom Bosley. No. Doesn't work on me. As a lab partner, he's not much help. <sighs> Wolf, I have some quite astounding news for you. Yeah, Willow sucks. Perhaps. Okay, now that was gratuitous. We have discovered the antidote. And there must be something we can do with it, wouldn't you say? Ah, uh, don't give me that woof crap. I want an answer. <laughs> oh, good. This is still going on. <laughs> I'm gadding away. <laughs> I'm gadding out of danger. Come on, Goliath. Mmm, <laughs> she's dreaming she's Susan. <laughs> Sounds like Shaft is coming. Shut your mouth. He's talking about Shaft. Jim Beg. <laughs> yeah, everything's up to date and whoa. Oh, she'll warn him. After her, quick. What do we do if we catch her? We dance, dance, dance. Yeah, the David and Goliath analogy slips even further. <laughs> Boy, they keep looming and thrusting and looming. Hey, hey now, that's a Carnegie library. Uh, uh, getting strong now. Uh, gonna fly. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh. 
But in David and Goliath, David wins. He said, look. Oh, oh my God, Opie's on fire. Surrender and be. No patchouli. He's spreading a humorous antidote. Well, this stuff really stinks, but there's no point in you guys moving or anything, huh? Well, that's funny. That kid's dusting crops where there ain't no crops. Uh, you can edge off the pillar now, Tommy. Oh, mustard gas. <laughs> By this time, my son's lungs were aching for air. Robin's dropping like flies. Flies, dropping like flies. Oh, I went down 400 cup sizes. But you know these gas diets, you gain it all back right away. Oh, yeah. Or Don't breathe the yellow opie. Uh, we can't help but observe that the people who were once big are now small. Just a little bit more, pretty boy. Hmm? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Just a little bit more. There. Giant like spirit in my crotch, will ya? But their clothes weren't that, they were, it, oh, no. Like, well, back down side, huh? What? Your tailor, Freddy, needs some adjustments, <laughs> right? Hey, hey, we're going, huh? <laughs> Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Yes, it's the running of the half naked teens in Hainesville. Should they arrest them for kidnapping? Uh, giant kids are gonna be giant kids. Yeah. And then we were giants, and now I have stretch marks. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Move along. Pretty good weekend, though, huh, guys? But think of their bladders. They'd really have to go to the bathroom when they shrink, you yeah, know? Yeah, they should have exploded. Yeah. Mm. That's interesting. Huh. Well, you want a mud dance? Nah, it wouldn't be the same. Uh. Well, we've got a long, long, long walk. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Are you people coming from Haynesville? Oh, uh, you can call me Ray. You can call me Ray. Yes, we're coming from Haynesville. Is that the place where they have the goo? Yes, that's the place where they have the goo. Thank you so much. Ah, <laughs> one last offensive thing to leave you with, folks. <sighs> the shamed cast of Terror of Tiny Town meets the shamed cast of Village of the Giants. Uh -huh. <sighs> so, that's it. Not <laughs> much of a payoff. We waited all this time for that. Wow. No, 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 no. Coming back to this is like getting your face smashed into a giant turkey. Oh. Yeah, or maybe this is what it would feel like if you had rubber bands around your eyeballs. No, oh, it's like wearing William Conrad's underpants oh. with a balaclava. Oh. 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 It's like a lingering kiss with your bearded aunt. Oh. It's like oh. waking up, rolling over, and seeing Jim Barney. Ah! It's like being trapped inside your own gym bag. It's like being trapped inside Jim bag. Oh. Boy, you know, you guys, as, as hard as I tried to concentrate on that wonderful movie, I just kept thinking about that little imp, Frank. Yeah, me too. I don't know, guys. Torgo's curating is off the charts. Hey. <laughs> just kidding. Come on. Anyway, we're not the only ones rallying behind Frank. Take a look at all this mail. Each and every letter addressed lovingly to TV's Frank. Frank, I haven't seen such an embarrassing display of affection since Dan Aykroyd was on the Chevy Chase show. Sorry. Wow. And here's one right here. Uh, put this up on this still store there. This is from Annie Current, who Damn. says, Frank, your evil innocence and gentle love for pain keep me on the edge of my seat but don't let the doctor hold you down you are definitely going yeah. places yeah. buddy you see yes. frank yes. there's a lot of people behind you yes, it. Uh, thanks You're guys that. Say, so make sure you got just all your watch ducks this. in a row and then shoot it over to the madrid lawyers and see if hold on a second stan i've got some one you still here torgo tv's torgo tv's torgo look i just want to say you won, congratulations, I'm leaving, and just to show that there's no hard feelings, 
Here's something you can do that'll make Dr. Forrester really happy. Look, all you do is go up to him and then you. Dr. Forrester! Oh, hello, Tor. I'm almost ready. I just have to. What are you doing? No! No, 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 don't! Frank, get the door. I've got garbage to take out. Oh, who are you to judge me anyway? Oh! No. Oh. Frank! You disgusting little man. That was your doing, wasn't it? Well, uh, yeah. Frank, that was one of the most fiendish and disgusting things you've ever done. And I've just got one thing to say. Uh. Frank! Welcome back. I got my job back. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Forrester. Oh, there's just one little thing. Uh -huh. Because of that little stunt you pulled, uh -huh. I'm going to have to kill you. Mine? Mine? What do you think? <laughs> oh, thank you, Dr. Forrester. No, thank you, TV's Frank. Frank, the sun never shone upon our love before until there was Frank. A, a you from me to you, sweet floppy Frank. We've had a lifetime of Frank. An endless Frank will always flow for all we know. For all we know. Frank, from the first day I knew your name, I never knew love was the same. Never knew love was the same. Open the vine, sweet Frank on the line. Nothing but sweet love and praise. Cause it's Frank. knowing that love could be frank If only the sun and the moon would collide to be frank Let me be frank about Frank Let me be frank about Frank, Let me be frank, about frank. Cause Frank is the best Frank That's ever happened to me Please, please don't go Bye-bye, Frank. You were enjoyed. <laughs>